Hi everyone, I'm discussing Fatima as a character. She is born not only in the lowest class of poverty, but as a cripple, a woman, and a Muslim. However, Fatima uses her actions to rebel against being weak because of these things she was born with. Fatima uses her sexuality and has lots of affairs against her husband to give herself power. She kills her daughter for being sickly despite the fact that she herself is a cripple. Fatima is always angry and beats her children, even though she is physically hindered by having only one leg. Fatima refuses to be seen as weak, even though that is how she was born. When Fatima chose to burn herself, it killed her. She was willing to risk everything in her life, and yet she finds a way to leave her mark on Anawadi. She becomes a ghost that haunts Anawadi and an inspiration for some women to threaten suicide just as she did. Fatima herself embodies the the Nietzsche ideal of there being no good or evil in society. The only thing that exists in society is a struggle for power. Fatima accomplishes this as she takes down the, Fisa the Faisal family with her when she burns herself and dies. Fatima becomes a symbol to women of what one person can do if they are willing to risk everything. From a political standpoint, this says that people who are able to force themselves to the top belong there. Asha is an example of this. The political philosophy, or this particular political philosophy, is something conservatives like Bhagwati would agree with. Bhagwati feels that people with no bad th that people will do bad things no matter what. So putting a lot of money into the government to try to help these people is just a waste of time and a waste of money. This connects back to Fatima because she is a prime example of a person constantly doing bad things, yet she has so much power. I have to give her some respect for defying all the odds she was against and having such a powerful influence. However, I do not agree with many of her actions. I don't think they were moral or just. As Darwin and Hobbes agree, nature, or the man in state of nature, is a bloody war of all people where the survival belongs to the fittest. I think this is an accurate description of Anawadi in the story that we have read. Fatima was able to survive and remain powerful even though she was a poor Muslim crippled woman. She lost all her power because she risked it all to kill herself and bring down other people who were trying to gain power. Fatima basically sacrificed herself so that others could not come out strong. This is the idea of, man, of the man in the state of nature. If the government intervened more as Rawls would like to see, then Fatima's actions may not have had such a big impact on the Faisal family as they would have had if um, there were more government interventions so the Faisal family would have more resources to bring themselves to power. So clearly we see from the reading and that life in, that life in Adawan, Anawandi is not fair and the government does not treat people equally or do much to help the people at all. So the only people we see come out strong in the story are the people that work hard and force their success to move up into social classes.